Hello, welcome to Card Minds. Thank you for stopping by. This is going to be a Capricorn weekly money and career reading from June 3rd to the 9th, 2024. Capricorns, welcome, welcome. Let's see what messages, what energies we have for this upcoming week. Capricorn Weekly, Money and Career, June 3rd to the 9th, 2024. Thank you for being here. I hope you're all well. I just did a live uh, Friday, uh, All Signs, monthly reading for the month of June 2024. So if you're interested in checking that out, I'll put the link down below. Um, all signs are up sign by sign, uh, general readings, general energies for the month of June 2024. Also be on the lookout on the here out for the magic word if you're interested in putting your name in the hat for a free reading. All you have to do is put the magic word down below and be subscribed. And if you wish to uh, become an active member to support this channel, I would love to have you um, part of the Card Minds community, energy base. It's a wonderful vibe, a wonderful energy, beautiful community. Um, you can click on the join button. I know it's not for everyone, but if you're interested, uh, if you click on the join button, that'll take you wherever you wish to go. And it'll also give you access to the private tarot readings, tarot sessions we do every Sunday at 12 noon Eastern Standard Time. Hope you can join us there. Okay, let's get started. Capricorn, let's see what messages we have. We have the King of Cups. Judgment, okay, big decision here. Temperance. Wow, Capricorn. Judgment, Temperance, the Magician, three major arcana, and nine of pentacles. Let's pull all the cards out to see where we are going with this. Beautiful so far. Beautiful. Three of pentacles. Page of Wands, yes, there's something new here. There's a big decision, but really moving into something completely new. You're leading the way, you're making that choice. Maybe you're bossing up, maybe you're becoming the leader of a team, a manager, a leader of a project. Job well done here. People are recognizing your talent, recognizing your hard effort, your work, your commitment. And now that lets you lead the team here in a business, in a company, or maybe starting your own business. I don't have an ace though. I feel like it's you stepping up with a judgment. It's like a a resurrection. It's like a, a new birth, right? It's new. You're, it's a, it's your, your metamorphosis, right? It's almost like you have transcended, you have um, transcended whatever work you did, you went above and beyond, you made it happen, you really excelled at what you did. And so this is really giving you a happy surprise what it is you did you committed to you excelled at it people have seen and recognized your talent here in this job business performance or even excelled at school right so now you're recognized for that and that is giving you the opportunity to discover a new vocation or to be inspired for a new job, to be able to express your genius, to express your talent, to make yourself known. It's a big, big decision and it's a change of destiny here with the right people. Taking your time, this is something you've been waiting for, you've manifested, maybe you worked really hard at school and finally getting that diploma. Maybe you worked really hard to get that promotion, that job, to be leader in that position, in that business, whatever it is. 
This is something you have everything you need to do this. It's time to move forward on this with the magician. It's time to make it happen. Uh, you've waited. You've waited long enough, right? And this is the moment you've been waiting for. Beautiful choices, comfortable with who you are, abundance there, uh, but also finding your freedom, your financial freedom, and stepping into something where you can take your time. You can take your time to resonate with the right people, to develop the right projects, to be with the right people. Wow. And I feel like here, um, yes, you're collaborating. This is a project. You're building something. You're not alone. This is teamwork. And you have the Page of Wands. It's all new. It's exciting. It's a new, exciting place to work in or a, an exciting project, subject, idea, whatever it is you're developing, whatever it is you're building here. You're also in a very stable position, uh, emotionally stable, a healthy foundation to be able to build upon. Freaking you out a little bit, Maybe people are all of a sudden, you know, um, uh, praising you. And uh, it really feels like that. It really feels like people are proud of you and proud to give you these new responsibilities or putting you in the spotlight or putting you in this beautiful new position. And it's freaking you out a little bit. Maybe you don't like being in the spotlight, Capricorn. And you're like, what? Uh, give me a moment here. I got, I have to process this. Yes, I have to process this. It has been a long time and, um, I was confused. I didn't have the answers. Um, I didn't expect this or I was waiting for answers. And, um, maybe this is putting you in an indecisive mode. Maybe you didn't expect this, or maybe this is something that's a lot to process. With the moon, it's uncertainties. And you have the queen of wands, Aries Leo Sag. Uh, maybe this is the person that is offering you this position or a person you're working with or a family member, or a friend or someone like that, that is by your side. Um, that's making you doubt? Why is this person making you doubt? It seems like it's a really good thing. Oh, because you haven't told them yet? Or because they... Because it feels like, oh, you're still indecisive? Or you thought this was all a dream? Or, or a fantasy? Or maybe they feel like it's still a dream or or there yeah it's it feels like you're influenced by this person that you're attached to maybe this is a family member or a partner someone and that you're waiting for their approval you're waiting for their answer you're waiting for or they feel like you shouldn't be doing this or maybe they feel like the last time you sort of didn't take your responsibilities or they didn't take their responsibilities so you don't trust them there's an issue of trust here with this person like either this is a family member or friend or someone in your environment or someone you're working with or whatever or this person that's offering you this job or that's putting you on this pedestal, or maybe it's, and, but for me, it feels like a family member, like, hey, wait a second, this is a lot to process at one time. Are you really trusting these people? Are you really trusting that they're gonna give you that promotion or give you all those responsibilities or praising you, right? Are you trusting them? It feels like that. It feels like a, they're a little damper on your parade. That's the way it feels. Maybe it's not that, but it feels like that. Because you're you're excited about this project and this is something probably that you've been waiting for. And maybe they're like, wow, wow, that's happening fast. And it, that's really big. So can you really trust them? Wow, well, that's a damper. All right, well, 
yeah, it's sort of annoying me. Yeah, I'm not surprised. There you go. Five five of wands. It, it's it's like the conflict. Maybe if I feels like it feels a little bit like jealousy from this Aries Leo Sag. Doesn't have to be an Aries Leo Sag, but it feels like you're freaked out now. Like all this is happening. Like it's exciting. People are aware of your talent. They're pushing you forward in the spotlight on a new team to work on something new. You're excited. It's a change of destiny. It's a big shift. And now you're freaked out because this person here is jealous or trying to find conflict or trying to give you doubts, right? Are you sure? Can you trust these people? Is it really the moment or isn't this too big to be a... Um, to be true, right? Too good to be true. Well, I know what I say to that person, whoever they are. All right, let's... Yeah. Again, the Nine of Pentacles, which is abundance, making a choice, being comfortable with your choice, and finding financial independence. And there you go. There's the death card. I'm not surprised because with this going on here, you're like, heck with it. I'm moving forward. It's the death of a phase, the death of a cycle with this person maybe, where you finally understand that that's not going to serve you. This person is not going to serve you or this company or this vibe or this family member or this friend or this partner, whatever it is, whoever this person is. And so you understand that that you have to let that person go or you have to let that energy go. It's no longer for you. You're moving into something new. And if you stay in that energy, it's going to block your your movement forward. It's going to block your dynamic. It's going to block your energies for anything new to come in. And this is a beautiful reading besides this damper here. I don't know who this is, but you know Capricorn. Yes, working hard. But I think I feel like you're leaving that behind and you're working hard. Yes, finding stability. You have two times the nine of pentacles and the ten of pentacles, which is abundance, harmony, long-term financial stability, and finding hum harmony in your home because you're letting this go, because you're letting these conflicts go, whatever these conflicts are, right? It doesn't really matter. It will be different for everyone, but yes, it's... There we go. Repeat of the judgment, big decision, big change of destiny, a moment of reckoning, a moment of revelation for you of rebirth where people are going to see you in a different way and they're finally going to see you. Maybe this person has dampened you before. There we go. Five of cups, the disappointment, the resentment, um, feeling you know, like you have to save your money, that stubbornness you have. Yeah, you had to stand your ground and very disappointed in, um, in a person and you had to save your money. And now that's the big change coming. This is your big change. This is your change. Beautiful, beautiful, pure revelation. And you are now going to be on a pedestal. People are going to reveal you to the world. This is your big revelation. Big revelation. I'm going to write that down. It's, it's, um, it's your time to shine. There's no time to listen to that person anymore if they're negative your time to shine, whether they want it or not. It doesn't really matter. It's not their life. They've locked you before. They were disappointed. You were disappointed. They don't really understand what you're doing. Go for it. Other people do, Capricorn. Other people see you. People see you. And they see your talent. Look at this, the third judgment. <laughs> oh, 
I mean, wow. If that's not a change of destiny and a reckoning and awareness of the situation, uh, that you are on a whole new energy here of reinventing yourself, revealing yourself to the world and people seeing you in a different way. Stop with the five of cups. Don't cry over spilt milk and don't be disappointed in these people. They are not worth it. They are not worth it. I'm going to leave it at that, Capricorn. I know it's a very short reading, but it's such a powerful reading that now the people are going to see you. Absolutely beautiful. So comment down below. Let me know what this is all about. Um, let me know if you connect with this reading. Um, it's a beautiful, beautiful reading of um, reckoning. And I mean, three times the judgment. It's a resurrection. It's a new birth. It's all new. And it's a beautiful surprise. I want to say that the magic word is resurrection or revelation or awakening. No, it's not awakening. It's resurrection. People see you. And I feel like you felt that you weren't seen for a long time. So if you're interested in putting your name in the the hat for a free reading all you have to do is put the word resurrection down below in the comment section and don't forget to be subscribed capricorn thank you from the bottom of my heart to each and every one of you thank you for connecting thank you for watching these readings for supporting this channel thank you for sharing your energies and your journeys thank you from the bottom of my heart gratitude to each and every one have a great week capricorn Take care. Bye-bye.